What's up everybody, it's Mars. Um, today we're gonna be doing a close-up mat or card mat comparison. We're gonna see what's the difference with, differences between the both, um, Dan and Dave and Walsh and Bosch close-up pads or card mats. But I'm probably gonna be using the word close-up pad for this whole video. So let's jump right into it. So um, first we're gonna start with the Magic surface from Dan and Dave, or as we like to call it, a close-up pad. So this, I have the red version. Uh, so let's start off with a few key points that I like to go over when considering um, a close-up pad. So um, what kind of back is it? Um, so this is a wooden back. And it's, I think, made out of walnut wood. Don't quote me on that. But right now they're currently... Uh, sold out of them i'm pretty sure they'll make some more so if you really want um uh wood bag this is a really good option although i don't have very very many close-up pads to um you know recommend because wooden bags are pretty expensive and i don't need you know 20 close-up pads um second point how soft are they now so this is some red felt which is really soft um so it works, it works great with, you know, what, you know, card magicians mainly, uh, mainly card magicians or card mechanics might use something like this. Actually, I see more card mechanics use uh, tables more than anything, not close up pads, but like, you know, a whole table made out of this type of felt or velvet or whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's an, here's an important part for Mainly in my head, I can only think of coin magicians who do coin matrix. Does it leave a trail? Basically, if you're doing anything, <laughs> it's gonna do that. So it's kind of one color and you know, palm something and it turns into a different color, right? So this one does leave a trail. And if you're very concerned about it, then I would say, get one that doesn't leave a trail. I know uh, Vosh & Bosch has um, a pad that doesn't leave a trail. So there's an option for that. How much is this close-up pad? Is it worth the price? The price is, I believe, $345. Um, you know what, I'll put up the price right here because I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, that's the price. Either way, I think it came out to um, around $400 for this uh, Dan and Dave Magic Surface or close-up pad. Um, how much cushion does it have? Now, I don't know if cushion matters. Um, it matters when you're practicing. I don't think it matters when you're performing, when you're performing because it should, you know, these card moves that you do that are on the table, uh, should you should have them down to a point where you could do them on a hard surface. I believe for practicing, it does matter. Now for this one, it does have a soft cushion. You know, um, not not really cushiony, but just there's a little give, just enough give. I'd say it's like almost perfect. Um, just the perfect amount of give. Um, another thing, do colors matter? Um, I believe no, they really don't matter. I mean, it depends. It's all, this one's on uh, preference and uh, you know, it's whatever your style is or whatever you're trying to create. Although for me, I like to get cards that pop. So this is a red um, close-up pad. So I'd want to use something like uh, some black cards or some like purple, like something that's just gonna pop from this. Some white backs, some blue backs. You could use red with these, but I prefer to have something that pops. Um, like um, the black lines, um, you know, that would pop really good on here. Is it portable? Someone who is a working magician might want to consider is it portable or not. These, uh, this one that I have here, I would not recommend for portability. Um, although it is lightweight, I feel like you want to keep this at home. I mean, look how, you know, just beautiful it is. It's very beautiful. And it's, uh, although it feels like it's pretty rugged and it feels pretty safe, 
I would recommend something else. I know there's some other magic companies that make uh, portable uh, close-up pads. So yeah, wouldn't recommend this one for portability. Is it heavy? If you were to take it, let's say you have this close-up pad right now, or you want this one, um, just because you really like the looks and you actually do want to take it. Wait, it is not that heavy. I mean, I would say, actually, I'm not even gonna try to guess because I'm gonna look completely, you know, retarded if I just take a guess at it and it'd be totally wrong. But no, this is not that heavy to lug around in a backpack. It's probably weighs, I would say, a little bit less than a PlayStation. If you ever carried a PlayStation before, less than that, maybe a pound or two less than that. I used to carry uh, my PlayStation around a lot. I go over to my uh, sister's house and uh, my friend's house. So I know what a PlayStation feels like. This feels about one or two pounds less than a PlayStation 4. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the red close-up pad. Now let's look at the Voschenbosch Black Custom One of One Close-up pad. Here is the Vosch and Bosch uh, close-up uh, pad. This one is a leather back, very nice, real genuine leather all around, as you could see. Um, very nice, very beautiful. How soft is this one? This one is noticeably softer than the Dan and Dave one. Um, so yeah, that's cool. <laughs> does it leave a trail? This one does not really not as much the camera doesn't really do it justice but definitely it's not as much as the red uh dan and dave probably has to also do with what color you get how much is this one now I'll put the price you know somewhere right about right here and that's how much it is <laughs> now this one does have softer cushion meaning it has more give to it which i don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, I mean, it's it's nicer to have more cushion, I guess. I mean, depends on what you're doing. I can't really think of anything that needs more cushion. So yeah, this one has more cushion. And this one, the color, um, I'm more, if you can't tell already from what I'm wearing, I'm more, my wardrobe is like, I like to wear black with a hint of red, with like red accents, um, but mainly black. And this one, I got what black, um, love it, really love it. I got um, some custom stuff on it done, um, which is uh, rarely noticeable, which I like. I like the little subtle details and um, it's personal, it's one of one. Also with the colors, you could probably do some, uh, some black art, if you know what that is. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, is it portable? This one does, uh, if you get the deluxe version, this one is heavier, although you could, uh, they have a stand that you could make with these feet that turns this whole close-up pad into a table. And that is portable, it has like a stand with wheels and a uh, portable bag that you could put it in and all kinds of stuff. So um, yes and no. The pad by itself, I would say no. If you were gonna travel with this one or the Dan and Dave one, I would recommend the Magic Surface from Dan and Dave because it's much lighter. And that's the next, and the next segment is weight. So this one is about, I'd say like four, maybe five pounds heavier. So this one is pretty hefty, um, but it's also a lot wider. As you can see, it covers my whole face, covers the whole screen. And I, and if you want a custom, uh, a custom insert it's going to cost $75 more I got a custom insert um, very cool I, I, I really like it I suggest if you really want a one of one and you want something to be really kind of unique and knowing that no one else will have it out there um, I suggest you get a custom one if you really care about you know having a one of one I do I think it's really cool that uh, you could have a custom close-up pad that's the main reason why I got another one. Once I found out that you could customize it, I said, I want, you know, something that's more attached to me. Um, so yeah, let's do the outro. So that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the comparison. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, so hope you're all staying safe and sanitized. It's Mars, peace.